If one takes infinity away from infinity, still infinity remains. Brihadaranyaka Upanishad 5, 1.1 Mathematics is often thought of as a pursuit of certainty, yet its deepest power lies in its openness. No system contains all truths, just as no finite expression can fully capture the infinite. Yet from this incompleteness arises something richer, a universe of perspectives, each illuminating the next. Mathematical systems must be internally consistent, but no single model can encompass all systems. What model fits depends on perspective. This principle, while resonant with Gödel's incompleteness theorems, does not spell the collapse of mathematical certainty. Rather, it reveals the nature of knowledge as something that expands through relational structures rather than through rigid self-containment. The limitations Gödel identified are not the boundaries of truth itself, but of particular frames of reasoning. And when viewed from a different perspective, one found, for instance, in Vedic philosophy, such limitations do not signify failure, but an intrinsic feature of a living, interconnected system. Godel demonstrated that within any sufficiently complex formal system, there exist true statements that cannot be proven using that system's own rules. The standard interpretation of this theorem often assumes that mathematics, and perhaps reason itself, is inherently incomplete. But incompleteness is not an argument for the inadequacy of mathematics. It is an argument for the necessity of multiple perspectives. The mistake lies in assuming that the system must stand alone, that its inability to prove all truths within itself means that truth is beyond reach. A mathematical framework, like any structure of thought, must be internally coherent, but coherence alone does not imply universality. Instead, mathematical truth functions as an evolving interplay of models, where gaps in one system are illuminated by the strengths of another. The Vedic tradition, particularly in its mathematical and philosophical dimensions, offers an alternative to the assumption that knowledge must be self-contained. The Sulba Sutras, which describe geometric constructions for Vedic fire altars, do not treat mathematical truth as fixed within a single axiomatic structure. Instead, they demonstrate an approach to mathematics that is fluid and transformative. A square altar may be transformed into a circular one of equal area, not by reducing one to the other, but by finding a method of transition between them. This resonates with a broader philosophical perspective in the Vedas and Upanishads, where truth is not bound to a single formulation but emerges through shifts in understanding. The principle of neti, neti, not this, not this, suggests that knowledge grows not by seeking finality, but by continuously refining and expanding its scope. This approach mirrors modern mathematics, which does not rest on a single foundation, but on the interplay of different formalisms. Euclidean and non-Euclidean geometries offer valid but distinct views of space, just as classical and quantum mechanics describe different aspects of physical reality. Arithmetic does not fully contain set theory, nor does set theory capture the entire mathematical universe on its own. Gödel's theorem does not mean that mathematics is fundamentally broken, Rather, it reveals that its power comes from the movement between models. Just as different mathematical structures provide different insights, the Vedic vision of knowledge suggests that no single perspective is absolute, but meaning emerges from their relationship. To assume that incompleteness signals a flaw in reason is to mistake a shifting shadow for a missing piece. The Vedic tradition, with its emphasis on relational knowledge, provides a different metaphor. Knowledge is not a tower reaching for an unattainable height, but a bridge, spanning gaps, linking perspectives, and revealing deeper coherence through movement. Godel's theorem does not confine mathematics to a space of unprovable truths, but invites us to recognize that truth is not found in isolation. Meaning is not in the finality of a system, but in its unfolding, in the patterns it reveals when viewed from different angles. Mathematics, like the Vedic cosmos, does not demand closure to be whole. Its wholeness lies in its interdependence, in the way one structure gives rise to another, 
in the way understanding deepens not by standing still, but by learning to move.